Hello, welcome to Accounting Hub. I am Professor George Scarping, PhD in Accounting. And today let's talk about departmental overhead rates. The second method of overhead rate. The first one, plate-wide method uh, that we also have in our channel. Uh, the link for this first video, it is in on this video description. So if you want to go there later, just go there, free. You are more than welcome. So what is the greatest difference between departmental and plant-wide? Plant-wide, we have only one allocation. Departmental, we establish separate manufacturing overhead rate for each department. So instead of only one per company, we have one per department. If a company has 10, 10 departments, we will have 10 different allocations. And we have the same four steps, but a little bit different. Step one and two, exactly the same. Step one, total manufacturing overhead cost in period in each department instead of the whole company. Step number two, allocation based for each department. We can use the same, for instance, the most used one, direct labor hours, or we can work with different ones. For instance, Direct labor for department number one, direct machine hours for department number two, for instance. Not common, but we can do that. Step number three, calculate the departmental overhead rates. Total cost divided by total amount of the allocation base. And finally, step four, allocate some, some manufacturing overhead from each department to the individual jobs that use those departments. So departmental overhead rates on our step three times the actual amount of the departmental allocation base used by John. Let's go to our Excel file. And this Excel file we also have in our video description. So on our plant-wide method that we worked on the previous video, Total manufacturing overhead, 2.7 million. Total allocation base, red labor hours, 150. So our cost per hour, 18. Job number one, we use 19 hours. So, so the manufacturing overhead a cost for job number one is 342. Job number two, we use 22 hours. So our cost is 396. Let's split it in our department. We have only two, shaping and painting. So 1.4 million for shaping, 1.3 million for painting. Total 2.7 million. And our total is the same because we are not adding or subtracting costs. We are only splitting them. The same with our allocation base. Total direct labor, also the same. However, we are splitting them. Shaping, 100, plain, uh, painting, 50. So let's get our cost per hour. Total cost divided by total allocation base, 14 for shaping and painting, 26. And total, it doesn't make sense to have it anymore. So what we have here, we have one department that is more expensive than the other one, almost the double. And our direct labor hours, remember, Job one, 19 hours. Job two, 22. We also split them. Job one, uh, almost 50 50. 10 hours shaping, 9 hours painting. However, job number two, 8 hours shaping, 14 hours painting. Use much more the most expensive department. And step number four, manufacturing overhead cost per job. Manufacturing overhead cost per hour times number of hours. So job one for shaping 140, job two for shaping 14 times 8, 112. Job number one for painting 26 times 9, 234. Job number two, 26 times 14, 364. And the total, now we combine them. So some to here, 374 for job number one. Wow, it's more expensive than on the plant-wide method. 
Of number two. 476. Also more expensive here. So both are more expensive now. Only because we are splitting our uh, our costs and and so on. Okay, so this is our departmental method. So both are under were under costed here. We have a more expensive product based on our splitting of our costs. Okay, guys, so this method is more accurate than the paint white method because we split it in more departments. So the more we split them, the more accurate we have our, our system. Okay, guys, so thank you so much. If you have questions, comments, leave it in our video or email me at jscarping at gmail.com. Please, Subscribe our channel, like our video, and have a very nice day.